Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, it's Fun Guy here. We got a new Flash review today, and it's going to be like a four-parter slash season three finale review. Ugh, I'm trying to keep myself calm, cool, and collected. Let's jump right into it. Okay, these last four episodes of The Flash were, like, the worst episodes that The Flash has ever released. The reveal for Savitar didn't even make sense. They, like, freaking ruined the whole character of Savitar by saying that this is a freaking time remnant of Barry from the freaking future, which doesn't even make sense. How? How does this make sense? Okay, Barry from 2024 doesn't know that he's Savitar, like, but you trapped him in the Speed Force three years before the year 2024, and then you went into, like, this emotional spiral about Iris and all this stuff, but yet you still trapped Savitar. How does that make sense at all? Also, how does it make any freaking sense that the Black Flash in the season finale is, like, Caitlyn, like, so fast that she just froze uh, Black Flash and was like, uh, she's even like, well, I'll see you later, Hunter, or whatever she said, and she just froze him, and he, like, froze, and he, like, broke into a million pieces, but we saw him in, like, every finale, uh, of the CW show this far, this, so far, we saw, we saw him in The Flash, um, I think we, I don't know, I haven't watched Supergirl, so I don't know if we saw him in Supergirl, maybe not, because they don't have The Flash on Earth-39, but we saw him in The Flash, we saw him in Legends of Tomorrow, might even see him in Arrow, I don't watch Arrow, so I don't know. I'm going to have to look that up. But we saw the Black Flash. I'm, I swear, he better show up again because he's maybe like a Time Force, Time Remnant, Speed Force type thing. People have been calling it for months now that HR would use the, the face thing and um, and take Iris' place and, you know, kill himself or, like, let Savitar kill him. And people have been calling that for months. And that is really sad, CW, when you can let people guess what your finale is going to be before it even happens like that didn't happen in season two like nobody expected zoom to be um to be a freaking jay garrick well hunter solomon who took jay garrick's name but nobody expected him to be who he was in season two and then season one you know people kind of predicted well people predicted from the beginning from the very first episode when we found out uh, dr wells that freaking wells could walk people predicted that he would be the reverse flash so you know Season one, they were like, okay, you know, this is cool, so we're just going to do reveals and make it all shocking and stuff because that's what we do around here. Like, that doesn't make sense. But anyways, guys, they thought that uh, saying, oh, it's Avatar's a time remnant. Uh, I didn't think that was cool because I wish that they could have freaking used somebody that we never have seen before or at least Eddie. Eddie would have made a little bit more sense even. But for all you Eddie lovers, Eddie's not coming back. I'm just saying they built like this little... The speed bazooka, or they modify it, or whatever it's called, the speed force uh, cannon, whatever. And like, Savitar is getting ready. No, I think Killer Frost was getting ready to kill uh, Vibe. And then uh, Bay, freaking Gypsy Bay, uh, jumps in and saves him. And Cisco's like, Oh, I almost had her, I almost turned it back into Kane. And then Gypsy was like, Well, I knew you were in trouble because we're connected through the freaking. Um, the freaking stuff, the multiverse thing. We're freaking connected because I want to be with you because you are Bay Cisco. Oh, Gypsy, you are Bay too. Now, something else that doesn't make sense to me, and I think the writers just took the easy way out with this. Okay, a couple of episodes ago, when Barry lost his memory and then Savitar lost his memory, like Kid Flash didn't have a speed, which I don't really know what what um, what Savitar losing his memory has to do with him giving Kid Flash his speed. When Kit, that should have altered his DNA, but I, I guess it's like connected through the Speed Force since the Speed Force is like the Philosopher's Stone is made of Speed Force energy and like, I don't know, whatever. But that didn't make sense to me. Also, another thing that didn't make sense is like since Savitar got erased from existence, shouldn't Wally have lost his speed? Like, shouldn't Wally have lost his speed since since um this time rim that never existed? That, that should have meant that... He never gave Wally his speed. So, I mean, in the next season, if they do something to where, like, Wally loses his speed and they don't know why, or they figure out a way to give Wally his powers back, or they replicate the particle accelerator explosion, like the same way they did with Barry in season two, that would make sense because that would fill in the plot hole from this season, from season three. So if they do something like that to where Bear, to where Wally's losing his powers, like, oh, I'm, I'm not as fast as I used to be, or, you know, freaking something like that, 
that would make absolute sense. I'd be fine with that. But if they if they keep Kid Flash's speed, if they leave, if they let Kid Flash keep his speed, I'm I'm just gonna like I'm I'm gonna freak out because that, it, there's a big plot hole there. It doesn't make sense. It, it doesn't make any sense at all. There's this guy I follow on Instagram called World of Flash. There was some leaked footage of the finale of season three that that was basically it helped people guess what the finale was gonna be. And since Jay Garrick is now back in the picture, you know, I guess the Speed Force let him go or like he jumped out on his own or something like that. Since Jay Garrick is back now in the picture, Jesse Quick can either come back to Earth One and live with her dad and Wally, or go back to Earth Two and protect it as a Flash. Since Jay Garrick can now go back to Earth 3 and be the Flash and do his little Speed Force thing. And since the Speed Force was freaking like unbalanced, which is another thing that did not make sense to me. Since Speed Force was like unbalanced, they needed like a prisoner, so bury them to the Speed Force. I thought they were going to solve the freaking uh, Speed Force storm lightning thing and like all, there's like Speed Force lightnings coming down and all kinds of different colors and stuff and like... I freaking thought that they that they were gonna leave it at that at the end of the season and then solve it in the first episode of the next season. That would have made total sense if you would have left that at the end of the season to be whatever, and then at the beginning of the first episode of season four, that's when you freaking solve the Speed Force problem. Like, like they're they're the freaking writers are starting to like take it to where they take the easy way out and they just solve everything within one or two episodes. Like. That's not really cool to me. Like, you solve everything with one episode. Like, then where's the suspense? Where's everything that you had in freaking season one? Because that's what they did in season one. They left it off with a problem, like how they did in season one. They left it off with freaking Barry doing the, the little portal breach thing in the sky. And then in the first episode of season two, they explained what happened or how they solved it. They could have done this with season three. The last, the last part of season three, the last thing, they could have left it off with the little Speed Force lightning things. And then they could have solved it in the first episode of season four, which, which would have made total sense. I would have been totally okay with that. <sighs> okay, let me, let me calm down. Okay, guys. This season had to have been the worst season of The Flash yet. Because the first episode, I thought there were going to be some really cool things to expect this season. But there was not. So, hopefully season 4 is better than this. I really hope it is. I really hope it isn't crap like season 3. Also guys, my giveaway is still going on. So if you haven't entered my giveaway yet, you still have time. You have about 8 days left to enter the giveaway. And the link will be in the comments down below. Guys, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share with all your Flash friends. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for all things superhero related on this channel. And as always, guys, I am its fun guy. I'll catch you on the flip side.